up guys? Welcome to the new Rock On vlog. Today is a very special day. Actually, there was a lot of special moments in the recent vlogs, but today we are building another bike. Actually, this time my freestyle bike for the 2020 season, the Duke 250, and we need to change it a little bit to make it fresh. And I'm not in my living room, I'm actually in the design studio of my designer Zeitz Master. Come here, man. What's up? What's up, man? Maybe you didn't see his face before, but you designed my van in 2011. You designed my newest van. You designed my bike, the Rosant. It's been some, man. And there is a lot of work in the past. So you told me you have some crazy ideas for my stunt bike? I do. Okay, so let's go to your computer. Show me what you have in your mind. <laughs> So in the old design we had this poppy blue colors, right? We yeah. had the blue tiger, poppy orange. Mm -hmm. But for the new design, it's time to go all stealth mode now. Batmobile style. Batmobile style. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought it's time to really back down a little and go in a bit more grayish kind of style. Make the wheels disappear a little. The gray in the spokes. Exactly. You can leave a thick orange line on the sides and in the middle we make it all black. Okay. If you then go ahead and make the frame all black as well. Mm -hmm. That's a totally different bike already, man. Super murdered out. Can you see how the wheels are popping out now? Exactly. It's like all the interest goes there. It's so interesting to hear how a designer thinks, you know. It's like I, I never think about stuff like you are now explaining, but it makes a lot of more sense right now. I don't know. First you first contact you have, it's on distance, right? Okay. Then you have like the strong poppy orange wheels. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that really, I don't know, invite you to check out the bike even more. Mm -hmm. And then I would suggest going ahead by giving the eye a bit more to look at, you know? If you come up close and get to really look at the bike in detail, then you need some more, like I said, entertainment for the spectator. Okay. And then he sees actually the, the design on wheels itself when he comes closer. Exactly. And that I think would be nice too if we really add up some more details like all over the bike. Maybe develop a new kind of pattern. You know we always used to have the one, the know. rock on pattern. And I, I thought like why not go even further and include the rock font, the type itself, you know, mm -hmm. and make a pattern out of that. It's totally different what we have in the past. <laughs> That's totally yeah, different. it's a big step. I think the poppy style now is gone, you know, it's yeah. not so flashy anymore, mm -hmm. but still we need to stick to the colors. Like we still have the skin like that. that we really have to go with. In my opinion, that's gonna be the coolest looking stunt bike of 2020, definitely. Yeah, but this is not it, man. I have one more thing I need to show you. What do you you mean? gotta come with me. Oh, okay. Dominic, that's a sick helicopter ride. Yeah. Do you have a key, Michael, from that thing? Oh, uh, you need no key for that one. No key, so we yeah. just switch on and we fly away? Exactly, okay. it's run and gun. Let's not do that, that wouldn't end well. <laughs> but I, I saw that helicopter in your, on your Instagram. Yeah. That's your work, right? It's actually one of my first designs I ever got to do for the Flying Bulls. And that's actually where we are. This is Hangar 7, this is the home of the Flying Bulls. And growing up as a designer, I always came here to, to get some creativity going and to find some inspiration. That's also where I got the idea for your bike and that's originally why I wanted to put you guys here so okay. we can go check it out. I see a lot of toys, amazing toys there so yeah. I'm curious where you're gonna take me now. Yeah, yeah, let's okay, go. Okay, let's go. Huh? your detail is somewhere in this F1 car. Okay. Do you uh, know what it is? I definitely don't need downforce. No? I don't want to be on two wheels, so I guess it's not a spoiler. There's so many parts, I don't know. I give you a hint, it's carbon fiber. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, that's <laughs> a good hint. Actually, 99% of that car is, is a carbon yeah. fiber. And some titanium. Thank you, Michael. Okay, this I will not guess. You need to help me more. Uh, you need to go a little closer. It's somewhere around here. <laughs> On the wheel? Okay. The only thing I see is this. Something I always wanted to do. Okay, what's that? Like, the thing I like most in motorsports is all the details you get to see, right? Okay. And that detail right here, like the cover of the rim, is something I always wanted to 
including some of my designs. Okay. So I thought your bike would be the perfect opportunity to put it in. And you want to put it where? I always like to put it in the rear. Rear wheel? Yeah. Damn, that's a sick idea. Do you think we can do it? I mean, it shouldn't be so hard to do like a plate to fill up the whole uh, rim. It should be good. So. And it would make up a nice cover where you can really like also add some safety. Yeah. That's true, actually. For yeah. a weird crash, you never know, and you can stock always your hand in the rear wheel. Exactly. Never happened in the last mm, 10 years, but you never know. <laughs> it won't happen now. Okay, man, I, I freaking love your style. You did, you outdone yourself once again, and I think we have the sickest looking stunt bike, definitely, for the next year. So, the new design blew my mind, and it's such a special project for me so for that we need to do something special also for you guys so we came up with the idea with Michael to print five limited edition posters with the render of my new stunt bike and it's a very quality paper we're gonna sign it and give it away and what you need to do is just tell us what you like the most about the design down in the comment section and we pick the winner exactly so don't forget to share the vlog so I would say I need to go to my workshop and yeah. start to build that go bike. build that so thank you Michael you welcome see you on the next project and Dominic let's go to my garage wake up man it's too early but we too early right. yeah. <laughs> early morning we have a lot of things today to do uh, what we are doing today New bag day. When Tomas is here, that means... You get excited when I'm here, you, you can't exactly. speak anymore. <laughs> I can't speak properly. It means a big build-off again. So you see a lot of parts behind me. You can already uh, think what it is. Probably you saw our big unveiling of my new uh, Duke 250 stunt bike for the 220 season. Today we're gonna show you the build off of that new bike and we have a lot of work, right? We have tons of parts here. It's like a how it's made show. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to the bike. Let us show you what we already prepared. Okay, tomorrow show me what did it take five hours yesterday. Are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> I should be excited now, right? <laughs> it's black. It doesn't look much, but I had to take all the bike apart and okay. it takes a long time. You took down the sock frame and yeah, yeah it was repainted. I so took everything from the frame yeah. and we painted it and now it's black. I mean, I know we painted it since I <laughs> brought it to the painter, but the wiring is always pain in the ass, right? To put it back in there. More fiddly parts, but... Uh, yeah. But as I see, everything is fitted now, so we prepared a bit, so we don't need like two days to shoot that vlog, but still we have a lot of parts to, to fit on the bike. So I would suggest to put the bike first on the, on the wheels, and then we can continue with other parts. So let's start with the front wheel. Okay, let's start with the front wheel. Man, I told you man, watch out of the fresh painted rims. And now I need to correct with the adding the nice uh, Avon logo. Uh, does anybody has an idea what kind of adding should I use? Uh, that it's more sustainable on the tire so it doesn't go away with if you clean the rims with a brake cleaner or something. Is there any special tire markers? Let me know in the comments below. That would be very helpful. So yeah, damn. Be careful with the next rim, please, man. <laughs>
works. Front wheel is done. Let's continue with the back wheel. Super excited part in the vlog. It's a small package, very thin. I know what it is already, but I didn't see it before. So, Tomash, it's your turn. Open the package. It's, it's from. A, it's a part for the new design. Yeah, for the back wheel. It's light. It's like a frisbee. It's from the company Akrapovic. So, let's see what it is. It's a serving plate for food. <laughs> <laughs> no. Carbon one, super expensive serving plate. So our designer Zeitzmaster, he imagined to make like a MotoGP style of, on the rear wheel. Uh, I asked him uh, why not on the front and also on the back. And he said in terms of the design, the weight needs to be in the back wheel. So he decided to go just in the back wheel. And this is what we designed in his studio. I really trust him. Let's yeah. see how this is gonna look like. Exactly. Damn, that looks super nice, man. <laughs> and gonna look weird. I cannot wait to put it's, it on the bike. It's so something different. We just saw it on the sketch, but uh, reality is something else. So let's put the carbon plates on. After the carbon plate, we need to put the sprocket on, the disc brake, and then the wheel is ready to be put on the bike, right? Yeah, we'll see you at the bike. See you at the bike. Black box time, a uh, small black box, but a very nice part inside. So let's check it out. It's actually uh, something brand new that we developed. It's a dual brake system and check this nicely CNC machine. Need to cut this. Ba-bam! Check this. So here's the double brake and here's the stock uh, foot brake caliper. And this is a pure stunt part and we anodize it orange so it really looks nice on the bike so we're gonna put that now on the bike the wheel is ready and we need to mount also that one so we can finish everything up so and this package comes also with a caliper and also a brake line so it's a complete system it's just plug and play uh, what you need is also a handbrake pump uh, you can mount a magura which i recommend it works very nice or some other uh, brands and then you have the full system so that's it let's continue with the build <laughs> oh yeah, amazing man. Finally we see it. Good job. It's not bad. Actually, Dominic, good job also to Matze. He is the one. <laughs> He's the, one, the guy in the corner doing that magic. Matze, come come with us. It's it's on the bike finally. <laughs> Check this out man. Which side do you like more? The left side or the double brake system side? Definitely double brake system. Yeah, because he designed also the <laughs> double brake system. Come on the other side, Dominic. This side is more sexy, huh? The orange anodized bracket, the orange rims, and the carbon. It's actually like also the double brake system is like on the shelf, like presented, because it's like the wall behind it. It looks even more Good. interesting, yeah. Good job, guys. Check here, check here. And we should continue. What's next? Dropping the bike and then we go plastics to the time. wait wait plastics are on the end that's the that's the one of the most important things but the next thing is to protect the bike we need to put the sub cage on so the next thing is the adjustable sub cage okay Dominic next part 
Do you know what this is? A piece of metal. Piece of metal. You never actually opened a part, right? That's a very nice feeling. You wanna open the brand new part? You, you're gonna open. Give me the camera. Right. <laughs> Just please don't cut the part. <laughs> Feels good, huh? Feels good, like Christmas. Yeah. You open. That's where the port. What's your car? Fusion. Ford Fusion, that's for protection for your Ford Fusion. And we really wrap it fat because uh, when you ship around the world, you need to protect the parts. That's it, that's the adjustable sub cage. Where are the bolts? Somewhere here, I heard. Here, here are the bolts. So we're gonna take this thing and I decided for the black. Where are they? I think here. Here. I decided for the black uh, put packs. So we have a bit more like black on black. Okay, Dominic, camera is yours. Can I see the new design now? You mean the pharynx? Yeah. No, dude. <laughs> patience, bit patience. Okay, sub cage is not done, right? The exhaust is on. Uh, next thing, the tank. Then something more, and then it's time for the pharynx. Let's do the tank first. New grips, everything new for my new stunt bike. For those guys that are watching that vlog and didn't see the previous uh, vlog, which is actually the unveiling vlog. Yes, we are building that bike, but it's actually already built on social media. Everything is possible on social media. Yes, the bike is already finished. You can watch that really epic vlog. You can click somewhere here or oh, wait, uh, here, right? On the left side of the screen, you can click here and watch the episode of the unveiling the new 2020 stunt bike and what I would like to hear from you what you like the most which kind of part and what kind of uh, tuning that we did to that bike uh, so drop some comments below on that video I would really love to read them okay what I really love on my stunt bikes is actually the KTM power parts adjustable brake lever and it's also foldable so in case of a crash I don't break my lever but it actually folds up so I'm gonna mount this on my stunt bike and yeah let's let's take it out check this real nicely machined super light black anodized with this nice orange touch and yeah as i said foldable in case of a crash and it's easy plug and play and just take out the original one put back the store now it's time for the most epic moment in the vlog okay first i need to admit was the carbon plates was for me personally the most exciting thing of the whole build i wanted to see it live but you want to see the plastic right I, i've seen the design but uh, i want to see it in real person in real person and probably also our uh, viewers here want to see also the plastic so it's your turn you can unveil the, the i can wraps. start with what also thanks to our friend moto lichar who painted those plastic is our friend that already uh, painted the rosan so he did the paint job which is amazing okay Tomash, your turn let me see the first plastics oh my god i also didn't see them before i just brought them to the painter damn what do you say Tomash? that's a nice silver color damn this is gonna look amazing on the bike okay next plastic next plastic next plastic i think this is also silver uh like this one i already forgot about the design it's like new to me <laughs> did you understand him no, no. okay not dying all of those slot schlotter cogs this is not the oh, woman he's man he's just like <whistles> oh my god that's amazing right but still the sticker kit is missing right we still don't have the sticker kit so we are trying to catch the the date that they're gonna be finished if not we are in trouble okay last one is the front fender 
I don't want to drop. Christmas day. Damn. Whoa. <laughs> this is gonna look sick in combination with the stock black plastics and with the sticker kit. This is gonna be a bomb. Okay, time for some art shots. coming very nicely together let's not look at it yet so we have the seats first so let's put the I have a very nice KTM power part seat and I just it's a very easy thing to do Come like this okay and my stunt seat and one hit okay this is it last thing grip tape and then the bike is 95% uh, finish for today <laughs> Speechless man, speechless. That's a that's a bad mobile, right? Looks it's dope. Like something like from a movie. From a movie, definitely. That's like uh, unbelievable. Yeah, it was a long process again, a long build off with a lot of waiting of the parts and the painting. And it doesn't look much, but uh, yeah. small details, and it's gonna be way better. Huge respect to my designer Zeitz Master who designed again a very sick bike. <coughs> I, I love you man, you did an amazing, amazing job. Okay, the sticker kit is missing, no, we don't have it yet. I hope we're gonna have it uh, soon, uh, because the presentation is coming very close, but yeah, it looks dope. Good job also to you. Much. Thank you for helping me out. Dominic, if we would shoot alone this build-off, that's gonna take us, I know, like three, four parts <laughs> of build-off block of that bike. <laughs> for sure, yeah. Thank you, man. No problem. Okay, that was another sick build off and it actually also shows you how to build a stunt bike Okay, on a bigger budget but uh, what I want to say is that that I wrote a blog how to build a stunt bike on a budget so for everybody that wants to learn to stunt or want to get into stunt riding and pop some wheelies on the weekends I wrote you an article how to build a stunt bike uh, in three stages from the amateur level to the pro level and yeah you can follow those steps and make a nice stunt bike out of it so you can find the link in description below click on it yes and I cannot wait to see your stunt bike so guys on that note, we are coming to the end of that vlog. We are super tired, the build-off is finished. So that's it for this time. See you in the next one. Until then, rock on.